Well, good afternoon. It's Lynn here. And um, well, I, as promised, I thought I would just pop on and uh, record a very, very quick um, video tutorial for you all. Um, just a little bit of an update. I'm doing OK. Good days and bad days. Um, today's a good day. Um, and I've actually had three good days in a row. So, um, so fingers crossed. Um, everything's sort of beginning to settle down and the medication's doing what it needed to be um, to be doing. So it's February. Um, I can't believe that January is already gone for 2020 and we're now into the month of February. And of course, the month of February um, is the month of the WI Show the Love um, campaign, um, which the Green Hearts feature very, very heavily. Um, so I thought it might be nice just to do a very fun and simple watercolour illustration um, that's available to you all for you to use for cards or notelets um, or even you can um, frame something um, and put it on a mount and put it in a frame and it's also gr a lovely lovely simple design to do for Valentine's Day as well so um, so it's a really sort of a bit of a universal um, type design and um, and I really do hope you have some fun um, painting it. It's a bit grey and miserable and raining so what a better way than to sit um, at your desk and, um, and paint um, a lovely illustration. Um, I know that it's certainly going to um, going to cheer me up. So I've got my paper ready so let me just put these designs just to uh, to one side. And I've got um, an A5 piece of watercolour um, paper. I'm just going to work directly onto the desk um, for this, this um, quick design. I don't need to be taping it down because we're not going to be using an awful lot um, of water and saturating the paper um, completely with water. So I'm just going to work, work, quite, um, work with it loose um, just placed onto my desk. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to draw out um, a heart shape and we need to just work out whether we're going to be working on the design um, portrait or in this instance I'm going to be working a landscape design. Now one of the best ways to do your little heart shape is to actually create a template and you can create a very very quick little template by just folding a normal piece of A5, just normal printer paper, just normal copy of paper. Just fold a normal piece of printer paper just in half. And then along the folded edge of your paper, you can just draw one side of your heart. Taking some scissors, Just then cut out your heart shape and then when that's unfolded you've just got that perfect heart shape. Now you can draw it freehand if you want to, that's not a problem, but if you're actually reproducing this design across um, a number of different cards or even if you're doing multiples of the green hearts for a window display, then to actually create a little template um, is, is the better way to do it. Now I've already done a broader template because in this instance I'm going to be working in a landscape form. So I've done my, my template and made sure that it fits. And then all I'm going to do is literally just using my pencil, I'm just going to draw around my template. Now this template is going, well the outline around the template is actually going to be rubbed out once we've actually finished the, the painting of the illustration. So you just need to keep your, pe your pencil marks fairly light. You don't need to go as dark as I'm going. 
Um, I'm having to keep the line quite dark just to um, make sure it shows up on the camera. So once you've come all the way around and you've drawn around the outline of your heart shape, what you then can do is you just need to put a second heart just inside the first. Now I'm going to do this one freehand, so I'm just going to come around and down and around and down. So I've just got a nice shaped heart just sat within my my larger heart. You can just take a few moments just to even up the sides, just make sure it's all nice and, and even. I'm just going to shape mine a little bit in along that top edge. Like so. Okay. So that's it as far as the drawing is concerned and the um, preparation. What we now can do is we can jump straight into the painting. So I've got my paints ready, um, I've got some clean water and I've got some kitchen paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a start by painting in this little heart here. And of course it's going to have to be green. Now. As far as the colour ways are concerned for a design like this, it's entirely up to you how you compose your design. It's nice to they are they do look nice when they're all the tonal colours of green, and that's absolutely fine to do it that way. Alternatively, you can introduce some bolder colours with the pinks and the reds. Um, you can also do it with the Valentine's theme as well, so you're very, very much in the um, the pinks and the reds um, and like I say it just makes a great simple design for the front of a Valentine's card as well but we'll keep this one within the green tones so I'm just going to start by painting in a lovely green heart I want it quite nice and bold, so I want there to be quite a lot of pigment in this little heart. Because I really want it to stand out. just completely fill that lovely shape. And then just spend just a couple of moments just defining that lovely edge. Again, as usual, we will be putting in some of the ink details. So the edges will become much, much sharper once we add those. But I'm, I'm more than happy now with the, the way that that little heart shape looks. And then the next thing that we need to do is we just need to then put in some very, very simple and very sort of stylized um, little sprigs of foliage. So you can see on um, this example here, they really are just very, very simple lines of, of foliage. So just the little oval leaf on a little stem. And I've just grouped them in longer lengths. We've arced them over the top of the, of the heart. Um, so just very, very simple shapes indeed. So again, just working with the, with the colour green. And if you find it easier, you can actually have a palette on the go. So I've got, um, I've just got an empty palette here. And if you want to make some tonal colours of green, then you can mix a little bit of green into your 
palette. And then to change the colours, you can add things like a little bit of yellow. Um, again, you can add the colour green to your palette. Only this time, let's take it off into another direction and add a little blue. And you just get that lovely sort of teal, greeny colour. So you can spend a few moments just mixing up some various shades and tones of green. And like I say, each time you can add colours like the yellow, the blue, and if you want sort of a muddier, rustier green, then you could even add the colour orange. So it's just about sort of having a bit of a, a play with the different colours. So you can just mix a couple into your into your palette. Just so you get some different shades and tones of colour for you to use. So I've actually got six different colours of green there in my palette. So I've got my base green, I've got a green yellow green, I've added a touch of blue to get like this lovely teal colour, I've added a touch of orange to get a bit more of a, a darker sort of muddier sort of clash. Um, green and ochre and then I've just got another sort of a lighter shade of green. So once you've got your colours and you're ready to go I'm just using a very very simple sort of size 6 round headed brush. I'm just then going to just start to pop in some of the lines of foliage. So I'm just keeping it very, very simple. So off a main central stem, I'm then just adding a couple of very, very simple stylized little oval leaves. Like so. And I'm just using that pencil line as a guide. So we can um, use a little bit of the teal colour and we'll come up from the bottom this time. Let's come up and around our green heart here. And again, just apply those little simple stylized leaves to the stem. Now, as with any of these um, little illustrations, this is just the basic design. You can actually add in your own um, little bits of, of embellishment if you wanted to. You could, um, you could add some flowers. You could add some different types of foliages. You could be more um, realistic and more specific. You don't have to just be um, as stylized as I'm, as I'm being at the moment. So we'll come over the top with that um, green that's been mixed with a little bit of orange. And all we need to do is just work our way around the space and just completely fill the space with our little leaves. You can um, just pop in a couple of little single leaves if you wanted to. So we'll just pop in a couple of loose little leaves around the top here. And 
you can group them into a little trio. So we can just have just a little trio of leaves. Another way to fill the space is to just paint in some little circles. So you can just put some little blobs of colour around your design. Let's just bring a, a little stem up this side. The green mixed with the orange has actually worked quite well. I do quite like that actually. Again, let's put a little trio just down here. And again, just some little single leaves just dotted around as well. I'll just put some dots of colour along this edge down here. And then let's fill this side up now. And again, we'll just put some of that lovely, more vibrant green just dotted around. Just to fill the space. Put a little trio in here. Now the secret is don't overwork this design, don't completely fill your space um, with different um, leaves so it ends up just being completely, um, completely full. What you want to do is you want to allow that paper to work for you as well and just provide that um, space around each individual um, set of leaves. Now if you've got metallics you can also introduce a little bit of metallic to this design just to give it a little bit of a lift. Um, it's entirely up to you. I'll just pop one or two more just dots of colour around
And then lastly, um, a great colour for you to use when you're doing a design like this, just to give it a little bit of a lift, a little bit of brightness, is just a small amount of brilliant yellow. So I've just got some, um, some yellow on my brush and I'm just going to dot some of that yellow just around the heart design. Just to give it a little bit of a lift. And you can see quite instantly just how much that yellow has actually lifted the design. Okay, so that's it for the moment. Um, that illustration now just needs to dry and then we will come back to it in a little while um, just to pop the um, ink details. Um, so I'm just going to let that dry and I shall be back again in just a moment. Okay. So I'm back again um, and my um, illustration has now, um, now dried. What we need to do next is we just need to just um, rub out this pencil line that we put in as a guide um, all the way around our heart shape. So of course you just need to make sure that you are 100% certain that your painting is actually dry before you do this. And um, like I said, you know, you don't have to do your pencil line anywhere near as dark as I've done mine. So we'll come around this side. Do apologise if the camera is wobbling. It's because it's actually clipped to my desk, and as I'm using the eraser, it's uh, causing the camera to to shake. There we go. Okay. So I've got rid of my pencil line and you can see now that I've got a lovely um, shape um, of a heart that's sitting really quite nicely now on the paper. So what you need to do now is just take a black fine liner pen and we'll start with the green heart in the centre here. And I'm just going to come all the way around the outside edge. Now for a design like this, what we're going to be doing is we're not going to be following the painted lines exactly. I'm just going to be putting the ink details on just over the top. Now this little heart here will also take a second and maybe even a third line, fine line detail. So I've got a finer pen now. And I'm again, I'm just going to come all the way around the heart. We'll do the same around this side. And it's just nice to have those multiple lines. It just gives an extra bit of detail. And then when it comes to the, the foliages, what you're going to do is you're just going to use the painted area as your background. And just very, very simply put in that central stem. And then you can just draw around a little oval leaf shape. So just keep it very, very simple and very stylized. 
like so. You can go further if you want to and decorate the leaves, but I'm just going to keep it fairly open at the moment. So we'll pop in those little oval leaves on this stem here. We'll do the nice lovely arcing teal one. And then we'll just do this little trio here at the bottom. Now when it comes to the, um, the little circles, just come around the outside edge of those, just to sharpen up those edges. Same with the little leaves. see what a difference the ink details make now can't you when you're getting sort of halfway through the design it really does change it completely Let's work over the top of this arc here. I never tire of putting in these ink details, I just find it so relaxing when we come to this stage of any illustration that we're working on. last couple of little bits
I think what I'm going to do is um, the single leaves, I'm just going to pick those out and just add in some little vein details. You could um, put in some additional details to your little sprigs of foliage if you wanted to. I'm just going to pick out these, just these odd one or two. Last couple at the top here. And then once you've actually completed your um, your illustration and you're happy with the ink details and the overall look of the design what you then can do is I'm just going to write the words um, show the love just down on this side here so let's do show the love And then you can just sign your um, illustration. And that's it. That's it finished. Let's just pop that into a little, a little mount. So there we have it. Very, very simple, really quite nice and effective to do, but it just makes a wonderful um, design. And like I say, you can then display this in a window um, as part of the, um, uh, to show your support for the WI campaign, or alternatively, you can make it into a card. So you can certainly have some fun um, with different um, colors as well. So you've got the greens, but then maybe introduce some reds and pinks and blues. Um, so do have some fun, enjoy your painting. Um, I've certainly had um, a lovely afternoon just recording this video for you today. It's been, it's been really, really nice to be sat back at my desk um, and, um, and painting. So it's been absolutely lovely and I do hope um, you like the design. I shall be back again very, very soon. You take care of yourselves now. Lots of love. Goodbye.